we're going to get started. So we're, uh, thank you for those who got here very, very early. Uh, but we're going to be plus 15 through the day because of transport. Uh, I'm Nick Caudry. Um, welcome, everyone, to this ICA pre-conference on justice and order in the datafied society. Uh, I thought that many more will be coming during the day, but um, they're on their way, no doubt. Um, so the goal of this event is to bring together communications and legal scholars concerned to interrogate what is going on with data in society. And what is at stake in even asking that question? So we're really grateful for the event sponsorship by two ICA divisions, Philosophy, Theory and Critique, Rep. Alison Hearn, thank you, and Communications, Law and Policy. And the event is a collaboration between five institutions. So on the organizing side, uh, there's my home institution, Department of Media and Communications at London School of Economics, the Zemke Center at University of Bremen, Germany, the Data Justice Lab at University of Cardiff, UK, and the Data School at Utrecht, University of Holland. And it's been great to work with Lena, Karen, and uh, Andreas in pulling this together. And with Pat Alfterheider, um, Jessaline Andrade, who is uh, around here, she's maybe outside right now, uh, Meredith Jacob and other colleagues at American University, uh, and it's Washington College of Law, where we are, who have very, very generously made it possible for us to host the event here, outside the normal conference chaos, a calmer place to think. And thanks to Leif Cramp at Bremen for a lot of work behind the scenes on the logistics and uh, finances. Uh, on a, a practical note, just for the speakers, can I ask you all to hand in your consent to the recording um, to one of us during the course of the morning? Um, we will be making a slight adjustment to that form because Julie being an expert lawyer in the area of copyright has spotted some excess to the things being asked of us. So we are on the case here, nothing is ignored. And I will make the amendments according to Julie's advice. So it will be safe to sign it, but please give us that uh, later. And if you don't agree to be recorded, and that is your right, then please let me know um, before we start the next session, because I need to tell the AV people to, to switch things off. Hello? Just to yeah. Or consistently oh, I see. Or if they will not be caught on camera. But if they're doing a speech to the, if they're yeah, one they're of the speeches, speech, I'd be rather they, they were they here. So yes. I would like to know. It's totally fine them. not to consent, but I just need to know so that we can plan that we don't record you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah, can I just say one yeah. thing? So one of the things being stricken is the clause that. Yeah, so it, it is safe to sign it because Julie has checked it for us. So that, that's terrific. Yeah. Uh, good. Let me just make one other uh, non-administrative point about the day's purpose before we get started. Um, so as you all know, countless practical developments and academic publications are now converging in an extraordinary way around a very important realization which is that a new social and economic order is being built uh, within and across many countries, from USA to China, India to South Africa, Brazil to Russia. An order based on informational power, data capital, and the normalization of continuous surveillance and algorithmic discrimination. And this order, like all social orders, relies on the infrastructures of law, old and emerging infrastructures of law, and it relies on the often more opaque but still very forceful ordering of communication. To understand this emerging order, therefore, to put it crudely, critical communication scholars and critical legal scholars really need to be talking to each other, to share insights and hopes for the ways forward, practical and imaginative. And of course, I know many of us in this room have already been doing that for some time, but we hope that this event will take that debate to a new level. So that's why we're all here. Thank you for coming. We hope you enjoy the day. Just one final announcement. Um, we were not allowed to officially run this program beyond 4.30 because it would clash with the ICA reception. And I'm sure you will all want to dash off there. But in case you don't, 
we were able to go talking a bit after 4.30, and we're starting 15 minutes late, so we will. Um, but also afterwards, there will be a drinks reception, and you can get a, a ticket for a free drink outside at the desk. We hope you'll stay for that and share the discussion uh, after the event. So thank you very much for getting here so early in the morning, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.